Hi everybody, this is Molly from Colorful Freshwater Fish Tanks. Um, I'm setting up my mom's 75 gallon goldfish tank. And this is my first time ever setting up a cold water tank rather than a trop tropical fish water tank. This is also my first time setting up a tank for a species of fish that will really eat the plants. So I tried my hardest to choose plants that goldfish supposedly won't eat, basically java fern and anubias. And I have it rubber banded to this piece of manzanita wood that we took off a manzanita bush in my mom's backyard. And then we bought some colorful silk plants, just the basic things that you can get in stores at Petco and PetSmart and places like that, um, to sort of fill in one of these corners and give it a little bit of color. Um, my mom loves making things beautiful in ways that her young grandchildren will appreciate. So, you know, of course, we've got some pink in there and blue and interesting colors. We put a background on this tank with um, a river bottom design. Um, we've got one of her rocks that's just out of her garden, which, of course, we cleaned thoroughly before putting it in the tank. And then all of these landscaping rocks that we're using as substrate, um, which are too big for her goldfish to try to swallow and also heavier than your average aquarium gravel. Um, so hopefully they'll be less able to move it around. Right now I've got a sponge filter in there and going and circulating the water, but, um, we haven't received her hang on back filter yet, but we're going to add a hang on back filter as well. Of course, it will need more filtration than that. And then she also has a bubbling light bar that we're going to add when I get a splitter for the air pump because right now I only have um, one output for the air pump. So we put it on the filter, of course, instead of on the light bar. Um, and here is a little black moor goldfish that we're adding to the tank. My mom's common goldfish that we're putting in here are very small for commons and they're very stunted because they were kept in a very small tank for a long time. I mean, not really small, not like some people keep goldfish in bowls or one or two gallon tanks. They were kept in a 30 gallon tank for about the past six years. So their growth was very stunted and they should remain that small since they, I mean, they might grow a little, but they should remain smaller than average, even though they're going into the 75 gallon because they lived so much of their life in a 30 gallon tank. Um, I hope they like it and I hope I've done everything correctly because I definitely am not as familiar with goldfish as I am with tetras and betas and various types of shrimps, uh, various types of rasboras, all of the tropical fish that I love. Um, so right now this little black moor fellow is just getting acclimated. Um, I'm going to release him first and then I'm going to release, and then I'm going to acclimate and release the commons. Um, and we'll probably rescape this tank over time. I'll be honest, it's not like the most professional looking tank that I've ever created. It's cute though. And it'll be really fun to watch when the fish are in it. So, um, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's huge and it's been really fun learning new ways to escape tanks because this one has such a bigger footprint than what I'm used to. And I really had no idea how much I would have to fill in. I didn't have a good sense of that. So I'm learning, learning with this project an awful lot. So here's kind of a, a front view of the entire tank as much as I can give you. Um, and you can see we, we're trying to create asymmetry in this. I prefer asymmetry in my tank, so it is higher on this side and goes down lower. We've got clusters of plants over here and no plants on this side. So um, I'll make another video the next time I'm down here when all the fish have been in it for a while. Um, so we can see how it's progressing. And I hope that um, we can find a good light to buy for my mom. So if you have any suggestions on an excellent light for a 75 gallon tank, really Java fern and Anubias are low light plants, but I would like for them to grow. 
and we would like to be able to see the tank well and to watch it um, and to have nice lights on it so that we can watch it. So yeah, if you have any suggestions for that, please drop them in the comments. Um, thank you for watching my videos and click subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. It really helps me out when people subscribe, um, as it does with everybody who creates any type of content. So yeah, um, I'll create an update on this tank in a couple of weeks. So thanks guys.